Hey guys, this is a video basically showing you how to change OS X Tiger to look like OS X Leopard. This is quite easy to do, but please guys, I insist you don't go downloading all of those links in the video description now. Just follow it with me, pause the video and just follow where I go. And you shouldn't go far wrong. Another thing I have to say is, if this stuff is a computer, I'm not going to take responsibility for it. Um, I don't want emails from people's mums saying, Oh, you broke my kid's computer, and everything like that. Um, this is do at your own risk. I'm sure you know how dodgy themes can be, but um, yeah. Very important to back up first, guys, so always back up all of your data. Okay, so, first of all, you want to download some... You want to download something called Application Enhancer. Now, this is a free application, so is everything that I'm going to show you in this video. Next thing you want to download is called Clear Dock. Okay, so if you download those two now and get to where I am. Okay, so untick this box, because what that box is, it's basically the um, background of the dock. And then this is for the open applications. You can have this set to whatever you want. I'm just going to do white so it's easy for you guys to see. So then when you press apply, it'll relaunch Finder. And your background of your dock is now gone. It's just floating icons, and you can see the open things have got um, white triangles underneath them. Obviously, relaunching Finder opens all of your windows and everything, but whatever. Okay, next application you want to download is called Shapeshifter. Now, I'll just put Shapeshifter to one side. The next thing I want you to, to download is the actual theme itself. This is called Liger. Now, I'm just, I'm just going to get it up here. Okay, whatever you do, don't press install yet. Okay, there's something we have to do first. Okay, so double click on Liger GUI Kit. Then in Shapeshifter, if you drop down themes and icon sets, it'll ser search for free themes. Really can't speak today. Okay, so then you can see we've got Liger. Okay, so if you select Liger on both of them, and then press apply. Don't be shocked at what happens, because a couple of dramatic things will happen. Okay, now, I think it's going to open iTunes, because it always does when I relaunch the Finder with Shapeshifter. Yep, here it comes, iTunes. So random, isn't it? But, no idea why it does that. Oh yeah, because it's relaunching my Finder on my iPod is... whatever. Anyway, um... Yes, you can now see that you have the leopard appearance up at the top of the finder and the, some of the lep leopard icons and the folders. Don't worry about your menu bar, it isn't going to stay like that. I know that isn't anywhere near the leopard menu bar. Okay, so you're done in Shapeshifter. Leave the wallpaper unless you want that one, but if you want the more commonly known leopard wallpaper, just get it from Google. So that's what we're going to do now. Wallpapers... And there it is. Okay? So that's it for system preferences. Now all you have to do is install Liger. And you'll be able to see what that does right now. So it's just a normal installer. Continue. Wait for it to search your hard drive. Dock actually looks quite nice with nothing behind it, but not as nice as the Leopard one. Okay, found my hard drive. Continue. Type in your password. Did it wrong. I always do it wrong on videos. Doesn't take very long to install. Okay, now you see the most brilliant things happened. You have the proper menu bar up here, okay? And you also have the um, background of the dock. So, yeah, now this looks pretty much like Leopard. It really does look a lot like Leopard. But let me point out some faults. If we make my dock very small here, now, because I have magnification on, if I increase that a little bit, you can see the background of the dock will lag with the rest of the icons. Okay? So that isn't cool. So you can rectify that by having it all the way up. And then you're okay like that. If you have a big dock like me, anyway. Um, a couple of other flaw, um, flaws in this application. 
My friend Dylan pointed this out to me. The dashboard, not the dashboard, the system preferences icons don't change. Okay, these are still the tiger icons. And also, up here, it's a blue close and minimize and all that buttons. They're blue. So that's a real letdown. I don't have a clue why they're blue, but they're just blue. So what I'm going to do now, um, for example, you don't like it. I'll show you how to uninstall it. So obviously, you'd go to back to the Liger folder. And when I wanted to uninstall it, I pressed it, uninstall. It's just uninstalling. Okay, it's finished uninstalling. Now all that does is it takes away the um, background of the menu bar and the dock. Now I, I panicked at this point, okay, because um, when I re-uninstalled uh, re it before. So now you have to go back to system preferences. If you go back to application enhancer, clear dock, and just tick that box again, get your right application thing and your dock will come back for the tiger dock, okay? Again we're going to go to the shapeshifter and we're going to just hit this button down here, restore defaults okay now don't be alarmed if you see all of this is a bit stuffed up up here, okay? This is because you haven't restarted yet. So the final step to uninstalling the whole Leopard thing is to restart. But as you can see, it's gone pretty much to looking how ti looking like how Tiger does. And, um, yeah. So, that's just... Well, I would say quick, but it isn't quick. That's just a video to show you um, how to make it. See, the menu bar's gone like that again. But with re, re um, restart, you'd be good to go. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to ask. And if any of the links are broken, just Google it. Very easy to find. Thanks for watching, guys.